Hey, welcome back to graphic design class. This week, and starting this week and for the rest of the school year, you're going to be given lessons and I'm going to be using the Moodle to share my lessons with you. So hopefully you remember how to get on the Moodle. The address is moodle.debruin.com. The website is available to any of the students that are enrolled in my classes at Burlington Edison High School. You have to have a Burlington Edison High School account in order to get on to this website. So hopefully you have that. So go ahead, once you uh, go to this Moodle, go ahead and log in with your school Google account and go to our graphic design class and scroll down until you find topic three, fourth quarter lessons. Starting this week, you're gonna be given one lesson per week. And you see the first lesson, first lesson is listed here. And this week we're gonna be using a program called Canva to create a Facebook cover image. Let's take a look at that lesson. Clicking there, you'll see a sample of what I mean by a Facebook cover image. A Facebook cover image is an image that goes at the top of your Facebook page. Uh, don't worry if you don't have a Facebook account, you are not required to have a Facebook account, nor do you have to publish your image publicly on social media. However, this is a required assignment and you need to go ahead and complete it and share it with me using Canva, the new software we're going to be using for this class for the rest of the year. Okay, let's th talk a little bit about what is Canva. Canva is a professional level graphic design uh, website that I have been able to create accounts for all of my students on. And you're uh, free to use this Canva account for the rest of the school year. If you have not already done so, then you need to come here to this assignment and near the top it'll say create an account. Go ahead and follow these instructions. Simply need to click on this link right here. And when you do, it will bring you to canva.com. Now, if you don't already have an account and you're not automatically logged in like this, you do need to follow the instructions here on the Moodle. As it states, you need to sign up with your Google account. You need to use your school Burlington Edison Google email address and password in order to get logged in. But once you are, you'll see the home page of Canva looks something like this and you'll automatically be added to my team. My team is simply my graphic design classes. Okay, so how do we get started on creating our Facebook cover, cover image, which is this week's assignment? We click on this blue button here, create a design, and we wanna make a Facebook cover. So you start typing in Facebook cover, and right here, the third one down you see is that. Canva has tons of pre-designed templates, uh, for really making it easy for you to design just about anything. This template here is now sized to the correct dimensions for a Facebook cover image. And all you need to do is go over here to the left and search through the pre-designed templates they've provided until you find something that you like, the colors, the layout, etc. I went ahead and used this one at the top, so I'm just gonna click on that again. And it looks like this. As soon as you click on a design on the left, it appears on the right, and now you're free to edit it and make it look however you want. I don't really like that background image that much, so I'm gonna double click on it, and when I do, it comes to the forefront, and now I can edit it. I'm actually just gonna hit the delete button on the keyboard and delete it, because I don't like it, and it goes away. Now, I wanna use my own image. You're free to click and look through this list of photos here and just find an image that you like, or if you're like me and don't like any of those, you can come down here to the uploads option on the left hand toolbar and you can upload your own image. I have an image uh, that I painted that I want to use for the background so I'm going to click on the upload an image or video and you're going to have to have that image on your computer which I do here. I just select it and click on the open and it will upload to my collection of images that I've uploaded. Again, you don't have to use your own image. If you don't have an image that you want to use, you can simply select from the provided images in Canva. Either way, go ahead and click and select the image you've selected and it will appear over on the right and now you're free to drag it around and resize it. Okay, And I want it looking something like that. Okay, Once I have it in the place that I want it, I can just click over here on the right and that will finish the adjustment of the image and it's now in the background. 
Okay, I have the words hello, it's autumn in the center here. I, I want to change that, so I'm going to double click on the words and click and drag across all those letters. And I want this instead to have a meaningful title for my Facebook page. So I'm going to put my name and uh, the word art. Okay, I look at that and I don't really like that font that much, so I'm going to highlight it again and come up here. I see all the formatting options for the text, and I'm going to choose a different font, something that I like better. I think that looks pretty good. I can change the color. I can do all kinds of things to it. I can click uh, on this rectangular area here in the front as well, and I can go over and I can choose a different color until I get it the way I, I like it. Uh, I, I also need to change this text down here below because that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm going to put in my title here. There you go. And once I get this looking the way I like it, and I'm happy with it, I'm ready to share it so that it can be graded, so that it can be turned in. And how do I do that? Find the share button in the upper right corner. And I click on that, and you will see in the list, Chris De Bruin's team, that's our class. And next to it is an icon of an eyeball with a line through it. That means that's not visible to anybody but yourself. So you need to click on this and select the can view. No need to say can edit. No one else needs to edit your work, but you can, you need to click on can view. And as soon as you do that, now everyone in our team, that's all of our graphic design students in our class can now view your work. And I also can view it. You're going to have to do that for me to be able to count your work as completed. Okay, once I do that, I'm done. As you can see, it's a pretty easy assignment. Doesn't really take that much time. And as soon as you're done, you click on the home button in the upper left corner and it'll bring you back to the home of canva.com. You come down and now you see your finished work. Once your work is added, it'll be visible to me and I'll be able to mark you off as complete. Okay, so that's it for this week's simple lesson. Again, every week for the rest of the year, you're gonna be given a similar assignment. We're going to explore a lot of different uh, types of design for our graphic design class, and we're going to be using canva.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by email, and I'll get back to you right away. Have a, have a good week. And stay safe.